Hello and welcome to Onlan's Quick Tip video series. This video is on how to use Sysmax Studio to easily set up an EtherCAT configuration. Starting in the configuration and setup tree, double click on EtherCAT to open your EtherCAT configuration. If this is a new project, this will be blank by default. On the right side, you have your toolbox. The toolbox allows you to see and search through EtherCAT slaves that can be added into this configuration. These are categorized by servo drives, inverters, digital I.O., analog I.O., encoder inputs, vision sensors, digital type sensors, and junction slaves, also known as branching units. There's also a keyword search that allows you to type in part numbers or product details. For example, if I wanted to do a 32, 32 input in all groups, 32 inputs, this would give me my uh, digital I.O. EtherCAT slaves that support 32 inputs. So let's select a servo drive, just any one off the top, click, drag, and drop it under the master. This gives you a visual representation of your EtherCAT network, which is evident after you start adding junction slaves or branching units. So as I start building my network, my graphical representation will expand. And let's say I don't know the part number of something. Add a frequency inverter. And all of this is not only a graphical representation, but also gives you your device name, node address, and complete EtherCAT configuration setup that can be downloaded directly into your NJ uh, machine automation controller. Thank you, and stay tuned for more Oman Quick Tip videos.